Hey guys, bringing you a key replacement uh, repair video today. We're working on an HP Chromebook uh, model 11 G3. Uh, we're going to show you how to replace a key uh, that may be broken off or lost. And the reason why we're showing you how to replace the key and not the entire keyboard is because this is what's known as a French inset keyboard. Uh, what that means is that when you open this computer up and you look inside it, this keyboard is not held on by screws. Uh, it's held on by little plastic fasteners. Uh, they are one shot only, so when you have to take this keyboard up and you break those off, uh, you can't replace those. So the, the replacement keyboard may never be as secure um, or, or as uh, hard in there as, as, as the original. That's why if you have the option at all, you would replace a key rather than the entire keyboard. So uh, if you can find them for sale on eBay or Amazon is usually where I get them uh, for sale loose. If you can't find them loose for sale, uh, you'll have to buy the entire keyboard, uh, uh, use one preferably to be cheaper, and then you can take a key off of there and put it onto yours. So we're going to show you how to take a key off today safely without breaking it. We're going to show you what to look out for when you're doing it, and then we'll show you how to put it back on. Uh, so we're going to be doing one of these normal size keys today, these letter keys, number keys. Uh, so let's zoom in here to show you what you're looking at. Alright, so we're going to go for the H key. It looks like it's in the middle of the screen there. So what I'm going to do, I have a small flathead screwdriver. Uh, smaller the better. I'm going to put my screwdriver underneath the key cap, which is the top part. But I'm going to try to get it on top of the retainer clip, which is underneath, that, that you can't see. Uh, so feel it out, go slow. Once I get this cap off, I'll, sh I'll show you what you're looking at on underneath. So hang on one sec while I do this. I have the wrong screwdriver that I usually use. There we go. Now as you can see, my uh, screwdriver was on top of this retainer clip, this black portion here, uh, but it was un under my cap. So that pops off fairly easily. Uh, the reason why we do that is because if you just pull this and rip, um, this black fastener is very fragile. Um, it, it usually breaks fairly easily. Uh, so now what we're gonna do now uh, most retainer clips look like this. They have uh, two metal pins toward the bottom corners, two metal pins toward the top corners. Some models you'll have one on, on the bottom in the middle or one on, on top in the middle. But this is usually how it'll look. The idea that we're going here now is we're going to find the two metal clips that are closest to the edge of the corners. So in this case it's our bottom ones. And what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to push with my fingernail down and pry those up. Um, with my flathead. I'm actually going to use this tool because that's not the flathead that I like to use, but I'm going to push down, try, try to pry it up, uh, see if we can get those out without breaking it. If I do, I'll, I'll show you the clip here and, and what we're trying to watch out for. So, Okay, so that came up fairly easily. Let me put that there. Okay, so there's your clip. And this is what we are watching out for. If you notice here, there's a little plastic part there that jets out and a little plastic part there that jets out. Those two little pieces are what was being held under those metal pins. So it's very uh, thin plastic, very easily broken. Um, usually 99% of the time, if you break anything in this process, it, it'll be one of those. Uh, and once you break that, this, this retainer clip will no longer sit in, inside there well. Another thing to keep in mind is this retainer clip, as most clips are, are made up of two parts. This inner one sits inside the outside part. It's got two metal uh, plastic pins on either side of it in the middle that fit into this outer part. So if this happened to come undone in this process, you can fit those back together again, same thing, if those pins are not broken. So now that we have that taken out safely, we're going to uh, put it back in. In order to do that, we're going to go in reverse. Uh, we pried up the bottom first to get it out. Now we're going to set in the top first. So we're going to put this uh, retainer clip in. We're going to get that top part in there first. Make sure that those are um, under the, the pins they need to be in. That may take a little finagling if you're not used to this. Um, it's kind of hard to get those little pieces in. But once that's in there good and level, all you got to do is press in those bottom corners um, and it should snap back into place. So that snapped back into place. Watch out for this little rubber thing there. Those are very hard to get back on if you accidentally rip it off. 
And now that we have that in, we're just going to take your keycap, center it by, uh, by eye, and then just press. Oops, not like that. Hang on. There you go. So that's, you're all set there. So that's how you would take off uh, a normal size key that uh, to salvage it. If let's say again, you were taking it off of a keyboard and that's how you would put it back on, on this uh, model computer. So if you have any questions, please leave them below. Uh, check out the frequently asked questions first. See if it's there. It could save you some time. Uh, if you like this video, if it helped you out, please like and share and subscribe if you enjoyed do-it-yourself computer work. Thank you so much for watching.